always search thrift stores, Goodwills, garage sales, and more for possible treasures. Then I decide whether to purchase or pass. Watch what I do and decide for yourself. Would you buy it? A couple of unusual, very interesting, and hopefully profitable finds. First stop here with Jubilee. And you'll see me monkeying around with the light, which I did ultimately go on to buy. You'll see that in a little bit. So, Mr. A sings, Mr. B sings, and I got, I got a bunch of them. So the question is if they have, oh, look at this, Mr. T, like these teeth. Five, six, uh oh, Mr. X, that's got to be X-rated. So we need 13. Oh, so they have them all. They have the complete set. I'll look it up on eBay, but I bet you they won't be there. That's crazy. What a cool set. Oh, boy. I'm getting video of this. That's Playmobil. Goodwill was our second stop, and there were some bubble lights, but they didn't work when I plugged them in. You'll see this angel here, which I did get. There was this 221B Baker Street Sherlock Holmes game. That seemed interesting, but not worth it. And then sometimes as a reseller, you find yourself in strange situations. Uh, these Barbies were not worth it. They were newer, so I passed. So here's a look at what I got. Um, so I did get that angel hair stuff, which I'm not even all that familiar with. Um, definitely know this Double Glow uh, logo, which is kind of a classic logo. And there's four of those boxes. Um... I don't know if it's the kind of stuff that you stuff that you can kind of stretch out and make it look like snow, but they seem to be four unused boxes. And uh, I listed them already. It's December, I think, 10th or 11th. So I paid three bucks and I listed them at basically 20. So not a lot to be made there. I don't know. Kind of just a sucker for that logo there. I got a classic eight track, Boxcar Willie, 20 greatest hits. Uh, this used to be like everybody had this. You'd see this advertised constantly, so. I don't know if it's worth anything, but I, I have an 8-track player, so I'll at least listen to it. This is a game for the Odyssey 2, um, Alien Invaders. I couldn't remember if I had this, so I have the Odyssey. So I'll test this to see if it works. Um, if I do have it, I'll try to sell it. It's probably worth five or six bucks. The next thing is that vintage lamp. It's from Japan. It looks like you might be able to get 2025 for it. I got it for four. It supposedly was checked uh, by JS. Hopefully he's trustworthy. He, he says it's working. So this has got a certain look to it that I thought was kind of cool. It hooks up, I think, I don't know if it hooks up like this, like on top of a door, or if it's like on a desk like this. This piece here is um, adjustable. So I found a 25 watt light bulb, so I'm gonna test this out and hopefully I don't kill myself here. Oh, well, that's good. JS uh, didn't uh, steer me wrong. Just to make sure JS is on the up and up, I did switch the bulb to the other side. All right, dude. These are those those educational records. Miss A sings, Mr. C sings, uh, and so on and so forth. They are complete, so I have all the letters. Uh, plus, I have, in case you're unfamiliar with the alphabet, introduction, introducing the letter uh, people program. It's obviously an educational thing from 1981. Uh, the records, interestingly enough, are dated 1978. But um, I couldn't find any comps for these. I, I don't think they're worth a lot. They're supposed to be 50 cents each. She gave them to me for five, a little bit of a discount. I was just more curious than anything else. And actually I had a fun time trying to figure out who, what was what. Like A, for the life of me, I don't know who the heck she is. She's pointing to her nose. Whereas with Miss B, with Miss B, I assume she's buttons. So you can play along. Cotton candy. Donuts. I don't know. Effort? Miss Effort? I don't know what this one is. Fruit? Fruit slices? Gum, I'm assuming. This one I like. You know, hairy hair. I, I have no idea. Maybe actually that's what it is, an idea. That's so funny. J, I think is junk. K, I think must be a kicker. L, probably lollipop. Either mouth or mustard. Mr. Mustard, Byron from the Beatles. Noise. Yeah, this one, like, I was like, I have no idea. I'm going to say Miss Orator, like an or orator of somebody speaking, because, you know, I know if I was teaching, you know, preschool kids letters, I would use the word orator. P, creepy, patches, kind of a little cat woman thing going on there. Q, 
quiet. R, again, I'm totally, totally unsure what R is. Rip? And S, again, I was also, I was like flabbergasted, like, what in God's name is S? Screen? I don't know, that's so bizarre, singing nun. Uh, T is a little easier, Mr. Teeth. U is also easy, umbrella. V is probably like vest, I would think. W, I like this one, it took me a while to get this one. Uh, Mr. Wink. X is like probably crossing or something, I think they probably did something funny with that. Yawn. Finally, Mr. Z, a zipper. So I don't know why I bought those. Hopefully there's somebody else like me who's a goofy and wants those. So hold up, because apparently there are a lot of goofy people like me. Uh, turns out that the Letter People program was a thing in the early 80s. Uh, in schools, it was on TV. This is a TV program. This is a record from a TV program. You see all those figures I showed you in the records. There's a YouTube channel, 1,800 subscribers, and stuff sells. You can see this. these are sold items on eBay, hundreds of dollars, some of them. And if you got something rare, like this set of uh, plush of all the letters, $335, 37 bids. Uh, here's some inflatables that sold for $204, 14 bids. You'll see a, a close-up here of one of the inflatables. So people have an interest in that. And it's not just like the old stuff. These are um, buttons, magnets, and these are repro reproductions. And people are paying $18. 31 people uh, bought that set. Poster, same thing, reproduction. Eight, uh, 24 people bought these at $18 a pop. So there's a sustained interest in these things. The records I have came from this letter people program that parents could buy with books and accessories, activity books, reference guides, assessment tools, all sorts of stuff, and the records themselves. Uh, my records will not sell for that much. I, I plan to put them up for auction, but they're loose. They don't have anything else with them. They're in rough condition. So, but I was excited to see this. I think they're super interesting. Like I had no knowledge about this. So I was just fascinated to learn about this. So the biggest expense at $25 was this Playmobil stuff. I really would have rather paid closer to 10. I don't even know if it's complete. There's a garbage truck in here and it looks like it's possibly missing the back. Though again, it could, it could be in there. I bought it for two reasons. One is, I mean, just I love Playmobil. I didn't have it as a kid, but we had a bunch of sets for my son when he was younger. We had a ship and like an island and like a whole bunch of things that were so cool. It's a great toy. Um, on the bottom there were a bunch of what I'll call accessories. And so there's people, I mean, look at this guy. I don't know what that is. That's probably worth the price alone, maybe an animal. So this is like a farm. I, I hope it's worth it. Um, hopefully I'll have at least $25 worth of fun. So I just dumped this. Um, start sorting through it. So this, this is some kind of farmhouse for sure. Here's some of the stuff. So there's a cow. That's good. Another cow. Donkey. Oh, you know what? Oh my God. This is worth $25. This is not Playmobil. This is Fisher Price Adventure People. I'm almost, oh my God. My brother had um, Fisher Price Rescue People. Uh, there was a plane that attached to like a pontoon type boat. And this was the dog that came with it. I'm like 95% sure. Oh my God, this, I'm keeping this thing. Cougar, because everybody on a farm has a cougar. I'll have to look to make sure all the stuff is Playmobil. Pig, horse, is that Playmobil? It is, that, that's, I wonder how old this is. That seems different. A panda, a friggin' panda. God, I hope that's Playmobil. Oh, jeez, that's a baboon. So that's Playmobil. Uh, another horse. Actually, there's a, a knight on it. So that's that's obviously not farmhouse. Uh, another cow. That is Playmobil. Wow. So I think this is probably relatively old. Uh, let's start looking at the people here. So a little girl with a whip. Oh, some kind of cop. Regular person. Native American person. Oh my gosh, Santa. With a whip as well. I'm gonna say it's not a whip. Uh, cool night dude. Racing guy. Another racing guy without hair. Kid, kid. Townsperson. Townsperson, this one I think is pretty old. Actually, yeah, 1974. Oh my gosh, a tiny little lamb. It's not a cat, is it? Sack. Ooh, a little collie dog. Uh, kind of a farmer, though he's pretty damn fancy for a farmer. Elf? 
So here it is in all its organized glory. I think it's fantastic. I don't know, again, I'm not actually an expert on Playmobil. So when I look at these animals, I'm pretty sure most of these are these little guys. I don't know. And the panda, I'm not sure yet. I haven't looked it up. Bunch of people. Some pretty cool ones. I think this one's really neat. A uh, bunch of kids. Some extra hats. Air rescue. I'm not sure if these dudes are air rescue. Fruits and vegetables there. This is farm-ish like. There are some mini animals. And as is required by the strict bylaws of all secondhand stores and flea markets. One dead bug. That's required. They can get in trouble if they don't have that. And Santa, he has a sack and the elf. This thing is not going to be worth anything because there's no back to it and there's actually no front to it, but whatever. And there's always got to be some random stuff. This guy is actually excellent. He opens and closes. He's a shark. I don't know what he is. I can't find any marks. He's really lightweight. I don't think he's Playmobil. I'm excited about this kind of stuff. I think it should be worth like a million dollars. I know it's not. Um, I think I'll get my money back. I'll at least try to figure out what set this is. All right, and about an hour later, here it is. This is set 3072. It is it is not completely complete. I guess I could just say it's not complete, right? Um, but it's pretty functional. Uh, there's a couple of supports in the building that are missing, but I, I don't think that that matters anything. The things that are missing that I think are probably more relevant is there's supposed to be like a thing that comes out to hold the rope so that you can pull this up and down. So that's missing. There's a piece of this vine that's missing. In the tree, there's a, one of these pieces is supposed to be here. Uh, got the farmer, got his tools, it's got the two pigs, got the cow. I think there's supposed to be a cat and a dog. This, this piece is missing in the back. It's definitely playable. Uh, it looks like the set can sell for somewhere around 40, 50, 60 bucks. This being incomplete, if I got 30 or 40, that would be great. And that would obviously cover my cost. All right, I got my hi-fi ready. Just finished playing Kiss. So now it's obviously time for Mr. S Sings. I'm Mr. S. And sometimes when I go to sleep, I'm scared. So then I sneak across my room and find my secret box and slip into my super socks and suddenly I am a supersonic streak in the sky Mr. S to the rescue they cry If you didn't think that was completely groovy I don't know what you're thinking I'm Mr. <laughs> I have ripping rubber bands. Running, racing, ripping rubber bands. Rip. I've got pointy, pointy patches on my pointy patched up pants. I'm Mr. M with a munchy mouth. So let's see what A is about because A was super bizarre in terms of trying to figure out what it might mean. So that's what the A's for, ah-choo, and she needs a hanky. I've got to exercise, 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 twist my lips. And I've got funny feet, funny feet, funny feet, funny feet, Mr. F, that is I. And incredible, inventive, clever, me, Miss I. I, Mr. Mr. X and I'm quite complex and my foot is just exactly where my hand should be. Of course, what's amazing is that somebody wrote these songs, somebody came up with the music, somebody performed it, somebody recorded it. That's a lot of time and a lot of talent. Uh, again, these are not amateurish. Uh, these are pretty well done, I would say so. Pretty kind of cool collection.